Echoes are everything in The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. I mean, it's even in the name. There are tons of echoes out there for Zelda to learn, but here are a few we found most useful in the early game. Number 1. Old Bed Don't underestimate anything you get in the tutorial. Case in point, the Old Bed Echo is one of the most useful tools for getting around. It's far more handy than the simple stool as you can create staircases by staggering their placement by one tile. You can also create one-way staircases in tighter quarters by alternating between left and right. Zelda can also take a quick nap on any old bed you create to slowly heal over time, useful if you don't want to waste a smoothie. The old bed echo is consistently one of the most useful in the game. Number 2. Ignazole Ignazole, setting things on fire for fun and profit. Jokes aside, the Ignazole is useful for clearing out burnable objects like crates or grass to quickly claim whatever goodies they have inside, like rupees or smoothie ingredients. While the monster is very weak, Zelda can throw it at any enemy to quickly set them on fire for some extra damage over time. The Ignazole is a humble creature, but don't forget to give them the spotlight anytime you see an unlit torch. Number 3. The Rock When in doubt, start throwing stuff. While it may be low damage, the symbol rock is reliable. You might say it's your rock. If you don't have a monster echo that can take care of foes, summoning a rock is always a good backup option. While they don't break after being thrown, you can just summon another one rather than going to get the other. The rock can also be used to hold down switches or crush crates when dropped from high enough. Number 4. Flying Tile See a small gap you can't quite cross? A switch across the room you don't want to walk over and hit? How about using a flying tile? Found in the Gerudo Desert, the flying tile echo can be used both as a projectile and a vehicle. Once summoned, it'll fly in whatever direction you're facing after it ascends. However, Zelda can hop on top or use reverse bond to follow its trajectory. It's not terribly useful in combat, but it can break a lot of puzzles, especially once you can summon echoes from a distance. Number 5. Plat Boom Plat Boom will break the entire game wide open. Also found in the Gerudo Desert Caves, you might not initially think to kill these enemies or that you even can. While it may take some time, learning its echo will reward you with a portable elevator, allowing you to ascend pretty dang high. The Plat Boom is a bit too tall for Zelda to jump on, but placing a bed right next to it will allow you to board. In combat, the Plat Boom can instantly crush any enemy below it not dealing much damage, but stunning them for quite some time. It may be an expensive echo, but it can at least let you skip a lot of puzzles, encounters, and roundabout routes. These are five of the best early game echoes in The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. What are your suggestions? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to get the like and subscribe echoes, of course. I'm Ben Ron Burke for Gaming Trend. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.